Hey everyone, Boondog Dwayne here again. We're doing this really quick, the IRV36 again. Someone asked about the aux input, and uh, here's the quick video. Hey, so here's this uh, video. Someone had asked about not getting sound through their IRV36 using their HDMI input, and the, using this input and your aux for the input of the sound it's the aux is using the aux outputs of your TV to the inputs um, here on our Intech Terra, of course. It's the aux outputs of the TV to the aux inputs, which are going to the aux inputs of your IRV36. Now, to check that, of course, you can, I'm gonna drop these, of course, you can pull your plates, pull your screws, and pull the IRV36 and check on the back for your inputs. I'll put a link. I'm going to make this new video, and I'll put a link with the um, owner's manual, and it'll show where the inputs are. But you got to make sure you have your outputs from your TV going to the inputs so you can use this aux and use your imp uh, HDMI input on the face of your IRV36. We just use our HDMI inputs in the back of the TV and I keep an H HDMI input for the TV because we use either our laptop or we use an iPad Pro or we use our iPhones with our uh, HDMI output for our iPhone or a, our iPad Pros. And we just go right to an HDMI input on the TVs, either here or back in our bedroom. So if you are using this faceplate, you are going to use Aux One, but you need to make sure that you have an output from the TV as your source um, for your audio. So uh, I will put a link to that owner's manual, and you need to make sure you have your aux inputs coming 